Okay, the trumpet guys are nearby. Welcome to Kato's Corners here on Game Guys. We have now made it. So is this just all? Is this what you guys do all day? You just sit here and you blow the trumpets? Okay, well, have at it. Anyways, welcome back to uh, Kato's Corners. Now, recently a patch came out with Elden Ring that actually buffed the weapon I'm holding right now. Rolana's Twin Blades just got like a major buff to their weapon arts. I may experiment with that, however, I'm perfectly fine sticking with my quality build that I've already planned out. Alright Terrence, let's go. Hello. God, these bubble boys are really getting bursty. I forgot to pick up the item. There we go. Ugh, a warming stone? Great. Oh, that was a lot of damage. That was, uh, bubbles! Ah. <sighs> Past the perfume department. Ugh. It's time to touch grace. I'm just gonna consume all of these runes because I, I feel like it. <clears throat> you can't stop me from consuming runes. It is like, very flavorful. Terrence especially enjoys wafting the after flavor. That sounded awkward. Yeah, man, Terrence enjoys the rune fumes. Okay, let's just speed this up. Almost there. Here we go. Ugh. Last one. Ah, that hit the spot. All right. A level. Nice. Whoa. What are you? I thought that was a death bird. This wannabe death bird has quite the pearly whites. Look at those teeth. Those are some very shiny white teeth. Hey, so. Ooh, he did not like that. Not one bit. Well, don't worry. I had full intentions of also petting you. Let me just take a sippy from my fruit punch Gatorade first. Oh, hello, boosh. Ooh, just in time. Oh, the sip took too long. Ow. Ha, <laughs> you missed. And now I shall... Oh! You missed. Ah! Oh, glad I didn't miss. Greetings. And bye. Hmm. You know, I think I have an idea. Will this drop kill me? Yes. Because I missed the upper platform and I didn't see there was a lower platform. Also, I'm pretty sure I went the wrong way. You missed. You missed. Oh, we have to go this way, not up. Oh, 
All right, the flippity scrippity technique seems to be working quite nicely. Hello. Oh, you fell. Greetings, fellow members of the whatever the fuck this is. I've come to just fuck around and jump. And there's the side of grace. And those are some ants. Those are some big ol' ants. I enjoy touching the grace. It makes me forget I have intense diarrhea. Alright, so, uh, I call this running away from my problems in Elden Ring. Ooh, stamina damage. Hello there, I'm the Death Priest! Alright, time for a boss fight. Are you ready for a fun-filled adventure? I know I am. All right, Terrence, let's go fight Loretta, Knight of the Heligatree. She casts spells. Let's bait these out. Woo! Yep. Now we heal up, and we're back into the fray. Owie. Did not think I was going to get hit by everything at once there. Well, let's just try that again. I mistimed some attacks, and it wasn't really a good look. A quick little run back, and we'll try this again. You missed, you dickhead. Now, when it comes to falling to your death, I sometimes think about the ramifications of how I could have done things a bit better. I meant the ramifications of my actions. I misspelled that. Fuck. My ears are so itchy right now, and I'm so engaged in running past everything, I don't have a moment to scratch the itchiness of my ears. Please appreciate the sacrifice I make for the sake of the gameplay. Oh, I really need to scratch my ears, though. Let me just get past this death priest. Ah, uh, yeah. Ah, uh, there we go. Ah. Uh. Ears have been thoroughly scratched? Okay. Loretta, Knight of the Halligan Tree. All right, let's get some attacks in. We're just gonna weave, dodging, and attacking. Sometimes you just got to take that risky... Ooh. Ow. Right on the dome. That's a... Woo That's like the easiest one to dodge. Oh shit, bad time to drink. Panic drinking is 
a portion of the times that you die. Ow. Wait, wait one second. I must sip. Grip to the sip. Alright. Ooh. Tickle my nuts and crinkle my fries. Crinkle my fry. Wait, that's like more blades. Ooh. Amplified phase two power. Okay, yeah, we're casting the big boy spells now. Well, glad only one of those hit me. Holy shit. Yeah, wow. Also, it occurs to me if I had two more healing, that would have been better. I forgot to swap the flasks again, and I even had to use a couple. You know what? I'm just gonna reset. We'll do this for now. Just take this out temporarily. Okay. Now I got the full 14, I should be good to go. Also, I keep forgetting to drink my Wondrous Physic. That could help as well. All right, let's... Next attempt. That was a really weird situation to be in. Another drink time. All right. Now we're going for pokey pokes. We're going for the spripities, bro. Oh. oh. Yeah, now he's got the amplified powers. Woo! I'm gonna do a safety set there. Ooh. Ow! Fucking horse kick. We are double sipping now. Well, I meant to double sip, but I forgot to... Ooh. God. Yo, seriously? That's, that was enough to kill me. I wear, I am wearing goat's armor. I'm calling bullshit on that. God, Miyazaki, stop punishing us for mid-maxing our builds, please. I just want to be able to soak hits and just spam our right bumper <laughs> that's kind of what i'm doing right now with this build is uh it's a straightforward tanky here's a paired weapon i but now that this weapon art got buffed and it's actually viable now i'm thinking about checking it out it was too slow to get off and it was just everything's too hyper fast and focused you couldn't really reasonably use this weapon art prior to the buff you know it it was a cool weapon it was a cool weapon art that nobody used because it was just too slow and it didn't do enough damage. That was that was the fucking truth. At least that's how I felt when I used it. So I went for strength dex quality build because, well, poking with the with the magic flame flavored weapons, it it's more consistent and efficient DPS. It can't just be cool looking. It needs to be practical and functional. Gamers care about that shit. Yes, the weapon art looks cool, but it's too sl it was too slow. 
The buffs basically make it viable in an actual competitive setting in this game. I just don't feel like getting a larval tier to test it out right now, and I'm actually fine with this with this setup right now. Now I'm trying to go forward. I'm trying to dodge forward if I can. Because this boss... I don't know. These these sort of Mary Sue boss designs... Now this boss isn't terrible. But still, it's like, oh, I can hit hard. Also, I have magic. Also, I can just summon these weapons. It's a lot of advantages. Wait, didn't I get that stagger off? Why was she still attacking? I think I'm close. Holy penis, holy penis, holy penis, holy penis. I've been watching a lot of Game Grumps, so I, I have penis on the brain right now. Woo I am one hit away. Give me a second. We don't get greedy here on Game Guys! Woo! That was exciting. But seriously, this weapon art did get buffed recently, and I kind of want to check it out. So, uh, I might... How many larval tiers do I have access to in this playthrough? Well, we defeated Loretta. We can now level up. I'll just keep on this path for the time being. Yeah, I'm sorry about that. You ever you ever start squealing, and the moment you start doing it, you realize this is probably a bad idea, but you're just committed, so you might as well have fun with it. That's basically what that moment was just now, going down the ladder. And now that I have thoroughly explained my rash actions, I can, I can get this ancient dragon smithing stone. Oh, what a tremendous... Find indeed. It's elevator time. Whoa. I almost fell off dicking around. Not the first time that's actually happened this playthrough. No, I just want to see. Ow. You gave me herpes right off the bat? Seriously? Not cool, lady. Or is this a dude? This is even worse if it's a dude. Well, that was a lot of penetration damage, so... I actually don't know. You really can't tell under that armor. You know what? While I was debating what was underneath the suit of armor, I failed to pay attention to my own cherry-flavored lifesaver health bar. What a fool I have been. Wasn't there a side of grace just past him? Or her? I think these are dudes. One second. I am channeling my aura. Okay, I'm done. We can continue. All right, no fucking around this time. Really? Again, more herpes. I just scratched that itch. Oh, that's right, I had Scarlet Rot. That's why my health bar was going down.
All right, I got I got to go scratch the herpes with the cytokines. <laughs> oh, sorry. Uh, the term nowadays is scarlet rot. Ah. Oh. Elden Ring has become so influential, we no longer call it herpes, we just call it the Scarlet Rod, or the Rod for sure, for short. Remember, remember guys, if you don't wrap it before you tap it, the Scarlet Rod shall become upon thee. I don't know. Well, this was fantastic. Hey, fellas, you want to see my cool little fire dance maneuver? Wow, they're, they both passed out from excitement. Now you don't get to see the dance. Okay, well, I got the itch again. I see you got the rot. Well, we have pill, we have five different pills that must be taken in a specific sequential order that can cure that rot. Oh, you fucks. Go, 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 go. Scratch the itch, scratch the itch. We're gonna go and scratch the itch. I am ready for the itch to be scratched now. Ah! This dude's all smug looking. He's like, yeah. Eh. Let's see what happens if I do this. Uh, he's just gonna be tanky as shit and just win anyways. Oh, it was this smug asshole. I got a ranged magic attack too, asshole. Oh, we got two of these cucks. You know what? Get flamed on. Shield fighters are the biggest assholes. I don't really even get much from these guys. We're just gonna move on. Yeah, yeah, you, you beat me, but guess what, assholes? I get to move on, and you have to sit still. So, fuck you, I get the last laugh. Mwahaha. -ha. No, fuck that. Right, I still gotta go back to the windmill village. Is she still... Okay, what if I go back here? How do I get Millicent to just leave? I'm trying to go for the Rotten Wing Sword Insignia Talisman. Okay, let's go back and talk to Millicent. Why are these NPC quests always so goddamn hyper-specific? All right, Millicent, what do I need to do to get you to move forward? Right! Okay, I have to get the I have to get the prosthesis, which is here. I completely forgot about that. My mistake. God, you were all probably... <sighs> Okay, okay. I'm getting the prosthesis. Ah, excuse me. Welcome to our uh, bountiful ride. So we need to go to this uh, extra dungeon to pick up the prosthetic arm. We then take it to Millicent and then she moves on. I forgot about that. But now I remembered, so we're on our way to grab it. Ah, here you are, the beautiful, luxurious... Yeah, this place looks like just wafting the air is going to make you itchy. God, this place just reeks of the itch. I look at this place and I think, you know what? This is the itchiest looking place. At least that I've seen in a while. I have seen itch here. Blight Town... And the gucky place from Demon Souls comes to mind. I'm trying to remember how to get into this fucking fort. Ah, here we go. I have a horse. This is a horse. Good. Good job, horsey. Torrent, you have been a faithful companion so far. Hmm. <laughs> 
Now I just gotta make my way to the top. So now that we made our way inside the fort, okay, there's the ladder. We gotta find the ladder inside the fort. Hey, listen, I know what happens when you ring the bell, and I don't appreciate that. It frightens Terrence. And goodbye. Owie! You just got stabbed, mister. Now my ass cheek itch itches. <sighs> I'm like so hyper-focused right now. Now I got this distraction. At least it's just the cheek and only the cheek. Hey, it's these fucks from the Halaga tree. Oh. Oh. Intriguing. Now you got the Valkyries prosthesis. We're, we're gonna go give it to Millicent and then she can move on. Oh, go take your aspirin on your own time. Now we can go back to Millicent. Hi, Millicent. I have a gift for you. Okay, now she should show up at the Windmill Village. It's always that one fucking thing of the quest line you forget. And it's like, why aren't you leaving the area? There she is. Check it out, she's got her new battle arm. All right, now that we've exhausted our dialogue, now we go to the snow, snowy tops of the... And we go to the Zamor Ruins. I believe that's where she shows up next. <gasps> there's deer in this loading screen. Oh, there's Samurai Man. I guess we'll talk to him. So this dude is definitely having a bad day. One second. Let me explain why the dude's having a bad day. All right, dude, what's going on? And that's why he's uh, having a bad day. Hmm... Yeah, she's no longer at the village, which means she's moved on. She's in here. Oh, do I have to go this way? I think I was at the wrong side of Grace. There she is. Greetings, Millicent. Call upon you? I'm sure. Okay. Now we've exhausted our dialogue. We now go back to the Halig Tree. Yeah, the inner wall is where we need to go next. And now that we're here... So now that we've caught up Millicent on her quest line, now we can go to the final act. God, this whole Scarlet Rot area is really making my balls itch. Ah, uh, pin missile attack. Of course we're just gonna cheat. Why wouldn't we cheat? Two can cheat at this game. Okay, everybody, I think this is a nice little stopping place here, a little cliffhanger. See that area over there? That's where we're heading to next. Until then, catch you lovelies later. This has been Kato's Corners, signing out.